Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. In today's video, I really wanted to do a college Q&A because I graduated last May of 2020 and I feel like I never really discussed what I went to school for and things like that, so I really wanted to do that today. So the first and most important question is what did I go to school for? I went to school for photography. I am very much a creative person and I have always been someone that enjoyed being more hands-on, more so than, you know, reading a textbook and things of that nature. So I always knew that I wanted to do something creative. And then when I was in high school, I took some classes where I was taking photos of students and I learned how to do lighting. I learned how to pose people. I learned how to be creative and learn digital imaging. So I knew that that was something I really wanted to do. And then one day I was like, I really want to go to school for photography. It's always been so much fun for me and I just knew that that was something that I could just really enjoy for the rest of my life. Like I knew that that was something that I would just love. I think too, you know, I'm such a people person. I love people. I love talking with people. And I'm very much one of those people that would much rather have a friend where we can have deep connections and talk about life with more so than somebody to just have fun with. Like I love having friends where I can make those connections and talk about anything at all. And that for me was the biggest thing was like, okay, with photography, I'm working with, you know, other photographers and assistants and people that do hair and makeup. And it's very much a group of people and a team. And that was also something I knew that would be good for myself, just being around people, working with people and being creative. The next question is what did you wish you knew when you were in school? Something I wish I knew, and it's funny because so many people told me this, but it didn't register in my brain. Um, I didn't believe it, but time goes by fast and enjoy every single second that you were in college. I wish I would have understood that more, I think. I had the best time in college. It was one of the best experiences of my life. And if I hadn't gone to that specific college or really college at all, I wouldn't be where I am today. And although I enjoyed college so much, I wish I would have hung out with people even more or, you know, went to the studio and shot more. Because although I did hang out with people often and I did shoot a lot in the studio, I just wish I did those things more, I think. There were times where I only shot a couple times a week or maybe once a week. And looking back, I totally would have shot in the studio all the time, like all the time. The thing about the studio when I was at school was you had to sign up for a time slot and each time slot was three hours long and three people were able to sign up for the studio at the same time. So it wasn't really that I was even able to shoot every single day, because I really couldn't, especially when there were assignments, everybody had to use the studio. So, but I think I would have taken more advantage, especially on the weekends, because the weekends weren't very crowded. But I think just, shooting more and hanging out with people more and just realizing that time will go by fast. Once you graduate, everybody goes off in different directions, which that's actually something I really wanna talk about in another video is my thoughts of life after college. I really wanna make a video about that because I've got a lot to say. So yeah, I guess that's the biggest thing for me is just really soaking in every single second being with the people you love the most, even more, and shooting in the studio as much as I could. 
which again, I did, but I feel like I totally could have like shot even more. So yeah. Next question, why did I choose this school? So I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but I went to Columbus College of Art and Design, which is a private school in Columbus, Ohio. And if you're familiar with Ohio State University, my school was maybe seven to 10 minutes away from OSU. So that was awesome. I am very much a Buckeye, huge Buckeye fan. So when I was in high school, trying to figure out where I wanted to go to school, that was also the same time that I really got into photography. So my older sister is two years older than me and she is also a creative person. She does graphic design. So one of these days I would love to collab with her because I feel like we would be a good team in doing graphic design on her side and me doing photography. I feel like that would be really cool. So when I was a sophomore in high school, she was a senior in high school. So she was doing college tours and there were a few of them that I would go with her. And I remember CCAD, which Columbus College of Art and Design, is one of the schools that she went to to tour. And I fell in love with that school. I still had a couple more years of high school left. So it wasn't that I had to make a decision right away, but I just knew that that was a huge option for me. So come senior year, I had no doubt in my mind that I wanted to go to CCAD. There were a couple other schools that I wanted to go to, SCAD and Ringling College of Art and Design, which is in Florida. So those were options for me as well. Um, I think I also really wanted to go to OSU, but I knew that if I wanted to go to a place that was more hands-on, super focused on what I wanted to do, that would have been better for me than going to a traditional college, which is OSU. So yeah, once my older sister checked out CCAD, Columbus College of Art and Design, I had that in my head for the years to come up until senior year. And so I think the only college I applied to was CCAD and I got accepted. And that's when my whole life practically changed for the very good and betterment of my life. So yeah, I just absolutely had no doubt in my mind that that's where I wanted to go to school. And I am still very much happy with that decision uh, that I made, so yeah. So I think I have my older sister to thank for that. And since I knew I wanted to do photography, that would have come up in my college search, CCAD, so yeah. Thank you, sister. The next question is, what were your favorite classes? So my favorite classes were pretty much all of my photography classes. Uh, we did have one class that was on location. That's what it was called. So basically every Friday we would go to a location and photograph whatever it was. And I remember one time we went to an Italian restaurant in the short north and we photographed pasta and you know Italian food and that was super fun. So I pretty much enjoyed every single photography class. I will say the studio classes were also a lot of fun because that's where I learned how to shoot in the studio which is my favorite thing ever. So yeah, all of my studio classes and another class which actually I think I took a couple of these classes was psychology. And while we're talking about college, I will say this, if I hadn't gone to school for photography, I would have gone to school for psychology. I again, love people and I love learning the way people act and think and things of that nature. So fun fact, I would have gone to school for psychology, yeah. So yeah, all of my photography classes were my favorite, all of the studio and lighting classes and my psychology classes. And speaking of my psychology classes, I had the same professor, how many did I take? I think I took two, abnormal psychology and there was another one and I'm blanking on it right now. But I had the same professor for both of those classes and I actually still talk to her to this day. 
She is one of my favorite humans ever and I just love her to pieces and I am so happy that I have a connection with her and that I still stay in contact. There were a couple times where I even stayed after class to talk to her. Like if I was having like not a bad day, but if there was something on my mind and I wanted to talk about it, I would stay after class and talk with her. So yeah, she's one of my favorite humans ever. The next question is how did the school prepare you for your career? It prepared me for a lot of things, a ton of things. It, you know, I did a lot of networking. I got to work with models. I got to work with people who were helping me with hair and makeup and stylists and assistants. And yeah, I really got to learn a lot about how to work with other people, how to light the models with all of the lighting equipment how to photograph people at different angles and things like that. So I definitely learned a lot just from being at school and being in the studio. Overall, it really helped me learn how to, you know, be with other people behind the scenes making the shoot happen, you know, because you are with the hairstylist, the makeup artist, the stylist, the assistant, you know, you have so many people coming together to make this image come to life. You know, look at any photo that you see, okay? That wasn't just the photographer, that was the person doing hair and makeup and styling and making sure that their clothes looked okay or it wasn't too wrinkly at the top. You know, you've got, you know, the person editing the photos. There's so many things that go into it, but it really helped me to learn just how to be with other people in the same environment, making this same shoot happen. And that was so much fun for me, but it really taught me how to be with other people and, and work on the same project. It was wonderful. And again, just networking, meeting new people, you know, writing emails to people who I really want to connect with. I mean, all of those things, it really prepared me to do that. You know, had I not gone to college, networking, would I even know how to do that? You know, and even just being in the studio and lighting, like I learned so much and that's going to help me tremendously when I go to apply for a photography job. And I'm so thankful for that. I am completely indebted to that school. Um, just super thankful. The next question is what advice do I have for someone who would attend this college? I think the biggest thing is just taking advantage of all of the resources that are given to you. You know, everybody who works at the school is there to help you. And I think, you know, staying after school or staying after class and meeting with your professor just to talk about, you know, things that you can improve on. I mean, how many people do you think do that? How many people just get up and walk out of the classroom when class is over? Uh, everyone. So for you to stay back, talk with your professor and just ask them questions, things that you can improve on, things of that nature, uh, that is a huge thing. And I would definitely take advantage of that because like I said, everybody who works at the school is there to help you. So absolutely taking advantage of all of the resources that are right in front of you. Because once you graduate, you don't really have that anymore. Okay, side note, it is so windy outside. Like all of these leaves are falling and the trees are moving and it's super cloudy, which I kind of like this weather. It's very cozy weather for me. Like it makes me just want to put on pajamas and drink a hot coffee and watch a movie and just relax 